Hi guys, this is Mary. Today on Cards TV, we're going to put together a kit for making cards, and we're calling it the Cards TV Kit and Caboodle, because this is going to have what you need to put together some cards. Now, obviously, this is a very small box. I'm going to have to get a bigger one, but I'm using this one just to show you what's going in this box. Now, the first thing is I've cut a bunch of banners, and I've stamped a lot of different sentiments on them to go on the front of my card. And here's a sketch that I've designed. And I've got this sketch on my blog. And you can save it on your computer and print it out if you choose to use this and do these card kits. But this is the sketch for the card kits that I have in this little sandwich bag. Now when I get a better box, I'm going to have uh, file folders to divide this and everything. But this is just to show y'all. You know, and I'm just getting started on this. But inside my sandwich bag, which is trying to grab onto my card kits, <laughs> which is why I'll be getting file folders, each one of these envelopes has a card kit inside using this sketch. Now, I'm going to try to do this every week, guys, and we'll have a different sketch each week so that we can have... A bunch of card kits that you can grab and take to a crop and work on. You can go with a friend, uh, you know, go to their house or they'll come to your house and you guys can sit down and make cards or you can just leave them like this and when you need a card, you just grab one out of your card kit, choose the sentiment you need, put it together and you've got a card in just a few minutes. Now here's one of them. And you see, I've got my card base inside my envelope, and then here are all my cutout pieces. I think this one's so cute. Now, this little dog, I did a print and cut on Silhouette, but I've got some others in here from the Cricut. But this is just one to show you. Using this sketch, how this is going to go together. So I'm going to take my card base, add my mats, and I've got the measurements written down on here so you'll know what to cut. And you can just use your scraps for this, guys. And this is going to go just like this. You can see it's like the sketch. I'm going to put my little doggy on there. Isn't he cute? And I think this one needs to say, need a hug. Because he's got a very serious look on his face. Like maybe he does need a hug. Or maybe he thinks you need a hug and he wants to give you one. So you just reach in your little bag of sentiments. Get all that put down. You've got a card. Let me show you some other ones. We'll set this one aside. Now this one, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this one. So I've got another print and cut in here in case I decide to use it for a birthday. But I've got my card base. And then here are my layers. And I love this pink and gray together. This is going to go on just like that. And what I did, I had a lot of scraps that I thought coordinated really well and just started cutting out and this one you can put a flower on there which came from the Sweet Treats cartridge and this is the one I'm going to have the dimensions uh, for for today's card at the end of the video but if you didn't want to do that this cute little owl would work on there too so you could put Happy birthday. Let's just pull all these out and see what we've got. Here we go. Well, I stamped birthday blessings, but you can stamp happy birthday or whatever you have in your stash of stamps. So you could do happy birthday or you could put that flower back on. 
and you could do thinking of you now this is a larger banner and I'll have the dimensions for that at the end of the video as well but if you print this out it will have everything on there as far as the sizes and it will have this size banner right down here so I could do thinking of you I could do think spring oh feel better soon hello there many thanks or thank you now I don't think this one would be suitable for a sympathy card it's a little bit too cheery looking but you still have one for sympathy and you could just choose papers and colors that would go well and then uh, because of the size of this block you would want to have an image that starts at two inches and you can go up just like with the dog and the little owl so let's go ahead and put this one together guys so we'll have one finished let me get all this out of the way and we'll go ahead and put this one together I think this one is so pretty okay I'm gonna go ahead and get these two mats adhered together and I'll use my ATG gun for that and as I said I'll have the dimensions for this at the end of the video but if you go to my blog cardstv.blogspot.com you'll find this sketch that you can uh, save to your computer and then you can print it out so I'll go ahead and get this put together I just think this is so pretty I love the colors and the patterns together I think I've decided to put many thanks on this one and I've got it popped up on some foam tape to go right there and many thanks came from the Cards TV Heartfelt Wishes set and here it is right here and some of these others let's see feel better soon also came from this set deepest sympathy came from this set you see if there's any others no nope, just these three deepest sympathy feel better soon and many thanks came from the heartfelt wishes set but that's the one I'm gonna put on this card because I do need some thank you cards now this little daisy came from the sweet treats cartridge and you'll find it on page 49 and I just cut this out of white and then I came over here to layers and I cut the center and I cut it out of that same pink gingham and I cut this at two inches I'm gonna go ahead and put the center on my daisy and I'll use my two-way glue pen for that and then I'm going to pop my daisy up and get it right there in the center of that square. I just think that's so pretty. Here's my finished card. I think it turned out so pretty. And I couldn't resist, guys. I went ahead and put this one together, too. It was so quick and easy, and he is so stinking cute. And if I can find his number in the Silhouette store, I'll have it posted at the end of the video with all the dimensions and everything for the rest of the uh, cuts and everything. And both these were made using this sketch. You can get this over at my blog, cartstv.blogspot.com. And you can save it to your computer and print that out. But you can see how different they look, and it's the same sketch exactly the same you just change your papers change your sentiment and your embellishments and you can add uh, enamel dots sequins pearls whatever you'd like to uh, dress these up a little bit more too but this I think is going to be so fun and so easy when you need a card grab your card kit you're good to go thank you so much for coming by today guys I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon Bye now.